Hello guys, welcome back, we found too good. How's it going? Alright, Quake Faggots. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is good, this is a good intro so far. So we have... I need my in-ear in. That's in. yes, it's fine. So Toxic and Sparty. You know, you know these guys. Yep. Yeah? Take this. You'll need it. I'll probably need it after this, yeah. Yeah, Toxic and Sparty. Um, looking forward to a uh, bit of rape, probably. Um, <laughs> No offense. Nice. But as you know, sparty has been training a whole lot with um, Faz. Yeah. Um, I think he's been doing kind of okay. But with Sparty, you just don't know, do you, really? I mean, it's not that, like, people... A lot of people joke about, like, you know, like, he drinks a lot, right? I just actually think he's kind of mentally retarded as a person in general. And the only thing he's been able to learn <laughs> in his life is how to time items duel. And drink. Nice. Um, so you, you really we're gonna we're gonna see two out of three in this game versus Toxic. Um, <laughs> we'll see we should have what, brought what's gonna happen. Well. Alright. So let's start things off on Sinister. There's no Elder, which Great is good map. for you. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, I know that you're a huge fan of this map. It's very similar to Blood Run in many ways. And already we have a good start here for Sparty, so Toxic needs to actually chill out. He's got He's got lightning gun. He's got lightning gun, so he's fine. He's still pretty much the best aimer in Quake. Yeah, he's just going to see what's going to happen over at this red armor. And there comes Sparty, hits a run, and he's going to back off and picking up uh, himself a lightning gun. He's going to wait for the Mega. Oh, he was thinking waiting for the Mega, then he got burned. Nice, he mega forced Sparty gone. to go through the, the high tally, but he was wrong. That 50 50 gamble not going his way. And uh, Sparty off to a good start. So, Toxic, I know that this wouldn't be one of the, the stronger maps for him. Um, so we'll have to see whether we can actually get back into this, because this is a really good start for Sparty, and it's very hard to take control back, and already with an engagement here, Toxic had no idea Sparty would be sat there, and Sparty somehow didn't even get the kill, but he's still going to get away, get the red, and Toxic's not going to be able to do anything here, I think, for yep. a while. And that 50 is not up as well, and he doesn't even need it, but Toxic's going to need some help. Yeah, but um, I'm not very familiar with this map. I, I think I've seen Faz play it like three, four times. Um, but basically, yeah, it seems that when you get control, you can actually, you know, put some pressure down on the red and fight over that mega. You're pretty healthy and toxic kind of scrambling. But, you know, these rail guns are going to be important if anyone can hit them. Sparty, nice drop down. We'll pick up a kill on toxic. Um, I'm pretty sure, though, that toxic at some point will... If he's keeping a good like kind of time on these items he's everywhere that he needs to challenge but he's dying okay but he's yep. not dying at a like horrific rate he's not making it that easy for sparty sparty's done some nice moves picked up a couple of kills two minutes in but there's going to be a time where toxic just goes okay he knows mega's there he's like okay i can't get it i'll leave but he knows when it's up he's going to be waiting for red lg fight he probably looks like he could pick it up but he did actually get it and he didn't get the kill but enough pressure that hopefully he can do something in the future but it does seem yeah uh, like i haven't seen this map a lot dan but it does seem that actually keeping control is quite nice yeah it's really strong on this map it's a little bit like blood run in that respe uh, respect because you've got these uh, yellows that are very sp uh, spread, spread out, out and, and mega and red you can quickly get between as well it seems yeah, like the, the mega's like down low, you can kind of dive on it like blood around the, the red is elevated in that push. But it's also that 50-50, it's like when you're in control, like which yellow is the guy going to go for? And we have another engagement here from Toxic, he's going to catch yeah. Sparty. Sparty actually put, up, put a lot of stack here, that's a we really go. good catch by Toxic. And that's yellow. I think Sparty should be able to play over, yeah, he just got the yellow himself, so he should be able to play over the uh, the red armor, but they seem to be looking to fight over here right now. For no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Getting towards that <laughs> because red. Because why the fuck not? Yeah, and then Sparty gets the red. So, um, I, did Toxic actually think Sparty took the Mega and got away? No, he had the time on it. That would be too crazy. Apparently, Toxic cares about items more. Yeah. According to some other pros that I spoke to. Well, he's he's like, kind of better. Do you remember Zamis from like the OSP days? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, he reminds me of Zamis in that way because he just wants to take the items when he gets control. He, he's just a moving turret and you can't really attack him. And that's, that's like a, that works very well in his favor. Yeah. He gets himself the red after not scoring it last time when he was uh, fumbling about over Mega like an idiot. But, you know, <laughs> uh, we'll let him off for the moment. So he's, and he's this, is gonna, this is the Mega fight. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to set apart nothing because Smarty's going to run away. And they both missed the Railgun. Yeah, so Toxic actually waiting in the wrong spot there, but he had the right read just at the last second to block that off. And Smarty's in a lot of trouble now because nope, Toxic's starting not. to get to get a lot of control oh, yeah, on the yeah. map here. So, so I eventually, agree with that statement <laughs> when <laughs> you finished it. Yeah. 
Eventually, Tuck's going to get a kill. That is Potentially, my yeah, but like prediction. One of the best things about Sparty is is that like he doesn't know what he's doing. So how the fuck are you going to know what he's doing? <laughs> so the fact is, it's like okay, well he's going to die here. Um, he's going to get the yellow though. He must. Did he get the fifty on the way out as well? Maybe he did. No. Well, okay, he's going to get chased down. Toxic is pissed. I would be pissed after that situation. I mean, you just destroyed somebody coming up a jump pad. Oh, yeah, he's gonna lose. He's shit. Wow, that's yeah, so the, much... he's still he's still How's good. He alive? Toxic, yeah, but Toxic's still good. Like this is a situation where you should be like very happy just to take the kill. Oh my god, how is he alive? Okay, I agree with that now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 80 rail gun shot. Um, Toxic's eating up a lot of the health though, so he's literally like, I can kill this guy, I just need to stare at him with my robotic Terminator eyes and he will die. And he needs to get the fucking red, you... M god damn it, Toxic! Has he learned nothing from... He obviously hasn't watched my casts back in the day. Yeah, he's going to be reviewing those Quake 4 bots. Yeah. Well, he gets... He's let... He lost the Fatality. He must have let... I mean, um, can't be that good, right? He lost the what? Fatality. When? WSV WSVG. No, he didn't. He beat Fatality, you monkey. He lost in one best of three, which he threw on purpose. Oh, okay. That's the throw. <laughs> All which, right. uh, this, that, that's not true, by the way. Um, but yeah, he's kind of let Sparty back into the game here. So this, these um, exchanges and damage uh, are pretty critical coming up to the next Mega. And if Toxic actually attacks this Mega badly, uh, Sparty might be able to put some pressure down. But he seems to think Sparty's quite hurt and he's wanting to take as many items as possible. And it looks like he's correct in his assumption that Sparty didn't want to challenge. We'll see if Sparty just didn't challenge because he didn't or he didn't have a time. But the red armor looks like it's going to go to Toxic as well. So we do have map control with four minutes left on the clock for Toxic to make two frags. And Sparty, he's a runner. Yeah, we should actually switch to Sparty and see what he's actually doing yeah. at the moment because yeah. uh, kind of curious how he's staying alive here. He's, uh, switch it up, production. Pretty serious. Okay, well, we know what Sparty's doing. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, uh, he's taking out the ass right now with a lightning gun. Um, pretty much 80% LG in that fight. Uh, pretty easy. And that's now one frag away. Um, if he's going to turn this, he just needs... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yes. He... <laughs> Kind of got it, and he's given away red armor, so he's up against 100 100. And the other yellow, not yet picked up. This fight should go in favor of Toxic. That's not a fight you're ever expecting to win. We've got one yellow on the map, Toxic's gonna collect it. So the next mega, I Sparty needs to hit a couple of rails because you shouldn't be able to catch Toxic out in this situation, but he doesn't have access, I think, to a railgun. Yeah, it's a pretty classic story so far, just Sparty actually just building up for ages. He, I don't think he knows where rather. mega is, by the way. So like, yeah. Oh no, he's actually going to have yeah. timing on it. I think he's he's, no, I think he um, sniped it in terms of like vision because he didn't see the last one. Um, run away, Sparty! He needs to hit some railguns down. Yeah, he's missing a lot of rail. Oh yeah, he's hitting 82% with like thir uh, 30 or 40 shots. Oh, I think. can I get stats up? I press U, right? Or 5 or something. Oh, oh, like me. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the fight over the red armor. It's 3 3, so two and a half minutes left as well. And Toxic's looking pretty strong in control. He's moving to the walls of Mega as well. Spotty so knows when Mega's up there. If and but Spotty is too early and he's going to actually get killed as well. And this this should be. This could be game right here if, unless Spotty can find a lot of items. But Toxic, he should be able to steal at least one yellow away. He just has to do a little bit of damage each, like every 30 seconds. And he should be able to keep Spotty away from actually having a strong engagement. Yeah. And he should be able to win this one. But Sparty, you never know. And he's actually going to steal away the red armor. He's so. Be so lucky, though, to hit rockets in that situation. It's good that he took it, but he's also put himself almost potentially down another frag, which you can't do in these last minutes. That's a fucking annoyingly fantastic rocket there. That's actually going to help him. If he can get on top of a yellow before the Mega. He's again a little bit early for Mega. Hits a crucial railgun shot. He should just stay. Can't stay. Trying to hit too many rails. But he gets one yellow for himself, Sparty. Red armor's up. So Toxic... He's so far ahead at the moment. He's a good hundred um, and fifty, uh, you know, health and mega, uh, health and armor total. Um, so I doubt he's going to get knocked off the map anytime soon. So Spuddy's going to have to probably play the sneaky game. I would really hope to, if I was him, to catch him off with rockets. I don't think railgun's strong enough because Toxic should be able to disengage from any railgun fight and yep. still have enough time to back off into an uh, item that he wants to play into. And they're both going to fight over the Mega, and this is where the Rockets need to be strong for Sparty. He lands on the skirting board, and he actually is going to get the kill. 
That's an interesting fight for um, Toxic to decide to take aggressively into Sparty there with Red spawning as well. Yeah, I mean that rocket's ahead. a rocket fight. The fact that he landed on the skirting board is like kind of like half bullshit, right? Like I would be like fuming, but it's now a 4-4 game, so at least it's interesting. So we won't complain too much. But like fighting over the Mega, I didn't feel was overly important for Toxic. I felt he yeah. could have just gone for the red yeah, and, exactly, and held yeah. onto the map. Um, and as I said, rockets are probably going to be what's going to help him get a kill if anything in that stage because uh, he should be able to disengage from Railgun. So Sparty still doesn't have like full control of the map. Once again, we've got a mega fight, and this time it's Toxic with the rocket, and the LG is very painful, and then he gives him the Even exact same treatment. And yeah, hits a rail, and there's the uh, red. So he should be able to close this up from here. Just yeah. just hit high ground with lightning gun. Just like, stand here. There's, there's actually, like, you can play the teleporter uh, game very well in this uh, map to just escape all the time. And he's gonna, this position is gonna be very hard to attack yeah, in 10 you. seconds. It's not, not gonna happen here. But that was a really chaotic ending, especially like that mega challenge. Aggressively through the choke point into Sparty when you've got more stack and Sparty can take a fight. Like you're actually yeah. giving Sparty a chance to get back in, but Toxic will still win 5-4 to four on Sinister. I believe the last two maps, maps that you, you should know. I think, I think it's Furious Heights next. Yeah, I might be able to so actually uh, not have to make shit up. But um, <laughs> basically, hey, fine. Um, you know, in terms of how that played out, Sparty... I like I have both earbuds in one ear. What, have I? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? <laughs> Why have I got double earbuds? I don't know. I haven't worked in a studio before. <laughs> How does that look? That just looks like I'm plugged into something. Looks pretty good. I'll fix it. I think you're, you're a trendsetter. Don't worry. All right, so what was the next map, pretty series? Wait, I was going to do my analysis. All please. Right. Okay, okay, okay. That's why I'm here. Um, Sparty had control for like, like what? Three minutes off the start, and then he managed to yeah, pull like up that. like uh, three frags uh, total. And then Toxic was pretty much in control, just catching up. So if it wasn't for the fact that I think Toxic could have, they were actually quite evenly matched in a way, but Sparty was slower on scoring frags, yeah. which is what you should expect when you have Toxic you're playing against in terms of aim. Um, he did the right thing with the rocket engagement, uh, uh, Mega, with the rocket launcher. Toxic did the weird thing by going there, and then he did it himself to actually come back. So yeah, he gave Sparty yeah, yeah. Like, the same frag in return. Really but I weird. felt that Toxic was slightly stronger in control and could have walked away with it. And I am, I would normally want Sparty to hit like um, more, <laughs> more railguns and more cheeky rockets. Um, just because that's kind of how you get ahead of someone like Toxic. You don't stand opposite him and go, yo, motherfucker. You know, because it's the Terminator, right? You don't, like, I've seen the new Terminator movie, by the way. It was shit. Um, the chick was hot. Um, so, but Toxic was crap in it. That's all I'm saying. Nice. He's much better in Quake. Um, all right, so ZTN, uh, who picks up what at the beginning? Um, they both got items. Brilliant. Okay, so yeah, Sparty got the mega. Here, yeah. yeah, he got yeah. the better stuff. And he's going to get the red. All right, so let's see how he can actually pressure Toxic at the moment because you, you kind of want to make sure Toxic just stays really low in this spot so you can actually get a quick frag and then play one ahead because Toxic's really good at just playing passively so Toxic can be fine to just run away if you then build up yellows for like three, two or three minutes it's going to get very problematic so Spotty needs to make a kill there and he's actually already going for it has a, no, almost he's not. a trap he, there. He wants to get this fucking red because he's shit scared of like, if he doesn't get the red, it's not going to be that fun for him. So yeah, he will take it. And it was a nice move to look. Um, he knew he had time. So he's doing everything right, right? If you, if you don't, you don't want to run into Toxic in a, like an aggressive way unless you know you can catch him. So the best thing to do is starve him. And finding him here is huge. Oh man, those rockets from Toxic is going to hurt. He does get the Mega though. And he needs to make sure he gets set up for this red. He cannot afford to lose it. That's a nice aggressive rocket jump. That's, that's, that's not great. That um, gravity is a bitch. Um, he does take it. He actually tried to delay it, but Toxic will see that. So he needs to get the bottom yellow. Um, doesn't want to get real, <laughs> and he's gonna die. Oh probably, yeah. my god! Yeah. It's what a catch. Yeah, that's that sucks. A toxic can get back on the map now, and uh, good spawn though. <laughs> that's gonna work, I guess. So and tactical it, spawn. And Mega was Very a bit good too far spotty. away. And uh, Toxic's actually going to pick up no. the rail straight away. And he, if he connects the rail like he was earlier on this map, it can be pretty problematic. That's a sick direct. Rocket. And uh, now Sparty. No, he just left yellow. <sighs> he jumped timing. on it. This is really weird because he hasn't got any armor. So what if, if he just stays and here? And he hasn't got a, a railgun either. And he just gave away the yellow. Yeah, Toxic basically oh, he's has. Go, he's going to get this one though. But he's not in a great shape to fight over at the... Um, at the red armor and he, yeah. w he wants to be and if he goes to railgun now he's kind of going to be late for it and he could just like i think toxic will just jump down and destroy him yeah you um, just play the mega position and just like, try to block toxic the might just drop down aggressively here he has way more stack right now no no yeah no, no, he, no, no. he 
If Toxic jumped down with LG, I bet he'd win. Like, he knows he, he knows it's toxic. potentially coming. Only Toxic could do that. Yeah, but look, this is the thing. Smarty actually knew something like that could happen. And he was looking for it because he was like, this guy does have more stacks than me. But he gets the Mega and he gets the uh, yellow armor. Toxic should get the red armor again. Um, and then he's going to want to get into the yellow. Now we're going to have a fight in here. Um, or well, Toxic might be waiting for him. Nope. Okay, he gets a free yellow. Uh, I mean, Toxic's um, they're very evenly matched right now. Apart from that rocket. Yeah, that's a really nice uh, block there as well from Sparty. So he's going to just keep a handle yeah. on this area. So this is kind of nice, but the, the red is a little bit far away. It's going to give time for Toxic to actually pick up a yellow and get positioned to red. And now Yeah, Sparty, Sparty didn't know when red was. He, I mean, he's, he's still okay. He can take this, this Mega and still be fine here as long as he doesn't take any real damage. And uh, But Toxic's actually spending a lot of time to actually try to hit he this doesn't shot. He, yeah, he, he doesn't need the red armor. He just wants to take it away, and he will get it. And he actually gets it after being real, so he's going to retain all his health and armor. So Toxic's actually... Probably it's slightly more stacked than Sparty thinks. So I actually think that Toxic has a slight upper hand here because he's going to be able to look to surprise. The only thing that Toxic doesn't necessarily... No, Toxic has a time on Mega and on Yellow uh, and on Red. So he doesn't need the Red. I would actually look to just drop down to Mega Health if he doesn't go for Red. But he doesn't want to do that. He doesn't have a time, exact time on Mega. These guys just aren't timing very well, I, I have to be honest with you. Um, because if Toxic actually wanted to drop down and take that fight, I think he would have had a good chance of uh, taking it. And he's going to drop and go for Lightning Gun. That's already puts him in a winning situation. He's going to finish it off now and just put huge amounts of damage. He doesn't want to let him... Oh my god, why is Mega still there? Every item is up on the map at why? the moment. Why? Why was Mega there? Oh my god, what Sparty. was Sparty doing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure, but he's actually going to get... Oh, he missed that shot, actually. So he's, Sparty's actually going to get away. Nobody's died yet. I can't believe this. With the engagements we've had, nobody's died yet. That's, yeah, that's so weird. That's, so <laughs> that's so shit, aren't they? It's like <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> that's so weird. And all the items were up just a second ago, so everything's being reset on the map. So this right. actually gives Sparty an in back in again. So yeah. he can actually stay alive. Sparty knows he's got the red. He knows where Toxic is. Toxic is like, yep, I hit railguns. Sometimes even before I shoot them. And, uh, and he's going to hit one on Sparty. So now it's up to Toxic to look to catch. I as long as he secures this red armor, he can probably challenge yellow. But he should actually look to go aggressive here. And he is actually doing so. And that was a nice little peek. Because if he did find him, he could have um, laid down the smack. Um, and he's got a time on Mega. So he's really... Like, I don't know if that was a nice place for Rocket Jump. I think it might have just been a failed <laughs> rocket jump but he should be able to just destroy and push him off uh, mega so Sparty I wouldn't mind even watching Sparty just to check out where he is he's going to be at top yellow um, but it, like what has he got for his defense like how many rockets what's his armor stack because there's no way he can challenge this red I mean if he walks in this red he's got to hit railguns or he's got to catch him coming through the teleport with rockets and Toxic's quite aware of that as you can see from his movement and he's not even bothered about the red right now. He just wants to find his opponent. And there he is. He finds him down by the Mega. Hits a rocket. Not much damage. But he's, got again, got time on Mega. This is the scary thing when you're Sparty. When you lose time with this Mega, um, and you're playing a 0-0 game, you want to snipe it here, but you don't want to die, right? You're not actually looking for a kill. You're looking for a time. He gets the time. Can, and you want to delay him as well to potentially get the red. Um... And this is really bad, yeah. Because there, there was no red spawning, goes for the yellow, hits a nice face rocket, but he is so low. Like, Toxic will look for a railgun shot. If he misses it, he's still going to have another chance at a second one. He should make the jump over now. Doesn't even need to. Hits the railgun, gets the first kill of the game at 6 minutes 23. Again, Sparty does have a time on Mega, but he's got to be able to do damage here. So he wants to defend this position rather than go for railgun, I think, which means Toxic will go behind him. And that will actually confuse Sparty because he doesn't have the ability to stop him coming in. Really, really nice play from Toxic. That route change um, to not go against the running into LG was very, very smart. And it's going to win in the red armor and that's like a that alone is such a game winning kind of move yeah uh, just because it keeps your one zero there was a big chance that that one zero could have been nullified as a one one um so he just kept that one zero perfectly really well played by toxic yeah now uh, this is the position where toxic always thrives in just now Sparty has to try to attack into him he's got three minutes to try to build up a stack and get the opportunities toxic's actually not that strong so if one of those rails had actually connected could have gone quite well for Sparty in the yeah. future, but... And he's got a bad situation oh. with Mega and um, Red Armor spawning at the same time. Sparty's going to get the Mega after a Railgun as well, so um, that's going to bump him up. This is a horrible fight to take with Plasma Gun. That was a really bad... I mean, it's not a bad decision. It can work out amazingly, but Toxic's... Like, yeah. 
I mean, Toxic's trained, you know, by taking many of Plasma Gun from Cypher to the face. I mean, if you're not Cypher, you're probably not going to hit that much Plasma um, on Toxic. So, yeah, Sparty doesn't connect, and now he's in a little bit of a pickle. Red gets taken away. I'd set up nice and early for this Mega. Uh, he knows exactly what could be happening, and once he gets it, life has just got hard for Sparty. Um, hopefully for him, he's going to be able to catch him off with Rockets and Rels. I, I don't think you catch off Toxic, as I always say, with a Lightning Gun, because yeah. he, he positions himself quite well in rooms. You'll notice like he sits quite far back. He's not walking into corners, so there's no chance of yeah him just being caught off that much. I mean, we've seen Sparty being caught off in the last map, but not Toxic, really. Like, not at all. Yeah, I mean, he's been hitting so many shots, and every shot he hits is reducing the amount of time that body has to actually do anything and right now it's a minute and a half left and body's still trying to make a play work and toxic so stacked and he as you said like he keeps taking these positions where he's he it's can't hard to really yeah. attack him it's imagine like going down there to fight him with rocket versus rocket you'd have to be there early you'd have to be spamming grenades you kind of need to challenge one of these big pickups and this could be the pickup that we see a challenge on um, I would like Sparty, hopefully Sparty's in the middle uh, room actually looking for Railgun shots now. Yes, he actually does get the red armor, so that's a huge pickup. And he knocks him down to 100 armor himself. Toxic's going to pick up the yellow, and uh, we've got one minute now for Sparty to do something. And this is the mega that actually Sparty can fight over. Like, Toxic already is looking at this situation, and he's like, do I just dive on it? He's going to dive on it, and this is going to be crazy. He hits the first rocket. Sparty actually hits the Railgun, pushing him away. The Mega was taken, I believe, by Toxic uh, mid-fight there, as he timed it perfectly. But he's still not overly healthy, and Sparty has a small chance, but he's got such a little oh. time, and he probably doesn't have any stacks. The poor bastard. He needs the yellows, and he can't even get them. So he took the health. He went back up. He double backed. Toxic will now challenge this. If Sparty turns up, here, LG him and kill him, and that will be GG. Yeah, here it is, the checkmate from Toxic, but he does take a bit of damage, but it's you not ruined enough. my commentary. I said you were going to kill him, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough. Yeah, enough. Whatever. Toxic can still, can still survive here. It should be fine. I mean, yeah, that's a nice round. That's, that 20 seconds. The mega. Do we get any quick... I don't even know if Sparty has a rocket launcher at this point. Sparty's just going to come blazing through. Yeah, he's going to rocket jump. Out. Be a man, Sparty. Yeah, it's okay, it's he can't rocket jump anymore. <laughs> it's interesting as well, because uh, Toxic actually took a... The, uh, he instead of taking the red armor before that that mega that really pivotal mega uh, pickup from uh, Toxic, he actually went to try to intercept Sparty, thinking he's gonna be on the yellow still. When like you correctly said, Sparty's got a challenge for a big yeah, item. Yeah, it was obviously so Toxic he was made a mistake for the to mega. give him. No, back I in. think Toxic knew he was gonna be at the mega. Right? No, no, before before that on the red. Oh, oh yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I'm gonna try to like kill him at the yellow, but yeah, but yeah. Sparty's looking to fight, yeah. so. Yeah, but the end, the end challenge was actually really quite yeah, risky yeah. from Toxic. Like, no offense. Like, yeah. if you jump down at that momentum and you get hit by a rocket, normally, like, your first rocket's always the most important because it can push you into a wall or control your momentum, and the second's easy to hit. Um, so he was lucky he kind of got the mega. Yeah, anything can happen there, basically. Yeah. And he's and only basically, one he, ahead, yeah, he, so. he wasn't playing for, like, like how are the fight's going to happen. He was playing, I'm going to land on the mega. And then he actually did get it. He got railed away. And if he, if he didn't get the mega in that fight, Smarty would be like, okay, now I get you know, a chance to come back. Could have got the kill, could have um, got the red armor. He had like 150 he health, no armor. After yeah, 134, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so he was pretty pretty screwed. All right, guys, we'll go to a quick break, and we'll be back with more Quake Live here for the Road to QuakeCon Cup by Faceits.